Hi, and welcome to Hoxton Therapy. This is a narration of one of our articles. Winter is here, boosting your mood when seasonal affective disorders gets worse. Seasonal affective disorder is a kind of depression caused by seasonal changes. Depression typically can last throughout a year or more, but in cases where symptoms appear only during certain seasons, you may be experiencing seasonal affective disorder, SAD. Depending on the severity, the condition can affect people's mental health in several ways. According to Dr. Mark Winwood, clinical lead for the mental health service at AXA Health, prevailing symptoms include constant low mood and energy levels, anhedonia, lack of pleasure or enjoyment in daily activities, irritability, poor concentration, and perpetual feelings of sadness leading to feeling guilty, worthlessness, and hopelessness. A severe level of symptoms may include loss of interest and motivation to engage in social interaction and physical contact. Dr. Daniel Chichi of Doctors For You also explained how people struggling with SAD might be experiencing sleeping problems for an extended period. You tend to sleep more than you normally do, and because you're less active and less social, increased appetite and weight gain tend to set in. Why people develop seasonal affective disorder isn't fully known, but it is likely that some factors may be contributing to why certain people are more predisposed to the influence of seasonal effects, seasonal changes in a year. According to Dr. Sichi, prolonged darkness during the winter months, dull days, and early day nights often alter the human body clock, circadian rhythm. This also increases melatonin, sleep hormone, and reduced serotonin, pleasure hormone. These contributing factors lead to depression altogether. This year's winter. This year, things could be harder for people struggling with seasonal affective disorder due to the additional complicated stress and uncertainty that COVID-19 has brought along with it. Frankly, now that more people are working from home, isolated and locked indoors for long periods, that implies decreased exposure to sunlight. Obviously, many people are already seeing the blue depressed because of the pandemic and lockdowns that alone can cause seasonal depression worsening the symptoms that how it used to be in the past. Winwood attests to the fact that many are finding life very challenging and uncertain about how their future is going to be and are afraid of losing their families to the pandemic. However, as we improvise by having social interaction in smaller circles and also cancel or disregard those winter adventures and outings we usually look forward to, it is unavoidable that we'll be experiencing heightened risk of mental health problems like depression, anxiety, and so on. However, whether you're struggling with chronic sad or feeling gloomy, more gloomy than usual during this time of the year, there are certain positive things that you can help to boost your mood and feel better. Here are a few of those. Get natural sunlight. Remote working may make you miss out on the hours of the day which consequently affects your mood on the long run. So ensure that you take breaks and plenty of sunlight as possible as, uh, because you need this. You can take walks during lunch breaks or, it, or even setting up your workplace in a place where you are directly exposed to sunlight, not to sunburn though. The, en the emphasis of this emphasis is that sunlight energy affects our circadian rhythm and allow us to sleep soundly at night. Ensure, ensure you sleep well. Getting sufficient sleep each day is very crucial for the good mental and emotional well-being. Cutting down on psychoactive substances like caffeine, alcohol and others and also limiting time spent on the screen before bed is effective if you're having problems with sleep insomnia. Exercise your body. Exercise doesn't only abuse your healthy mentality, but also boosts your immune system. In periods when it's cold and dark, getting workout exercises is good as that might be the next best thing you want to do. Doing moderate exercise that lasts between 20 and 25 minutes can increase your heart rate, which will make you feel more confident, energetic and happier afterwards. More importantly, making time for physical activity as part of your daily schedule, the same way healthy habits are incorporated into your daily routine, can make your, daily, your day purposeful and structured, which is one of the things you need to do in times like this. Watch your diet. Obviously, when we eat, large, when, when we eat largely affects our mental well-being as well as our physical health. 
Thus, it is necessary that we pay more attention to the kind of foods that we consume now more than ever. Canned foods are usually higher in sugar and tend to alter your energy and mood levels, so it is advisable that you include, include healthier options in your menu. Healthy foods that can benefit your serotonin secretion are very good. Some of them are nuts, egg whites, vegetables, fruits, cottage cheese and many others. But more importantly, try to live more on green foods. Stay connected with everyone. In times like this, staying connected with friends, families and colleagues can be daunting, but maintaining connection with our loved ones can ease feelings lonely and isolated. You can stay connected with family and friends by making dates for small meetings with them. These meetings may be via phone call, video call or through catch-ups if allowed in your area and observe observing the rules. Having good connection with friends and family is key to having positive mental well-being and happiness. Seek support. Seeking help isn't what you should avoid if your symptoms are overwhelming. A GP can be spoken to about how you're feeling. In addition to living an active and healthy lifestyle, you may actually need to treat SAD as an underlying problem occurring during these seasons. Seasonal affective disorder may be treated the same way depression and other mental health problems are treated. You can ask for therapy or be prescribed medication, but an effective treatment for, for SAD is light therapy. Light therapy replicates natural light sources that are lacking in the winter seasons and helps to boost the person's mood and, and sleep by decreasing melatonin and enhancing serotonin. Don't hesitate to consult your doctor if you have concerns about supports available to you. According to Winwood, the solution to mental health and well-being isn't a one-size-fits-all. Your own health and is your own responsibility to nourish and give it the best it deserves. Never act on any advice given in these articles, videos or audios. Always seek professional help before acting on anything you read or watch or listen to on this website or in our podcast or on our YouTube channel or anywhere on our social media.